Here we are in our custom Zero homepage, going into the new company file we set up in a prior presentation, that being Get Great Guitars. We're gonna duplicate some tabs to put our financial statement reports in like we do every time. Right click in the tab up top to duplicate it. Then we're gonna right click on that duplicated tab to duplicate it again. We'll go back to the tab to the middle, accounting drop down, take a look at the balance sheet report. And then we're gonna tab to the right, accounting drop down, and this time the income statement report. Let's go back to the middle tab and change the date range by hitting the date range drop down. We're looking to the customize the report, bringing it on up to 2023, the end of December, and then make it up to date, update in the report. The income statement, the date range looks good. We're looking at 2023, so we'll go back to the first tab and let's jump on over to our flowchart. This is a QuickBooks desktop flowchart, but we're just looking at it to see the flow and the cycles involved here as we trace the inventory. We are imagining, in this case, that we purchased, we had, we can imagine a client came into our shop and said, I want these particular types of guitars. In our guitar shop, we said, well, we don't have those in stock. We don't have the color you want or whatever, but we can order it for you from our vendor. So then we went and made a custom order for the vendor for this particular customer so that we can get the guitars that they want and turn around and sell them to them. So we made a purchase order in the past. And then when the guitars came in, we, we imagine the guitars came in with a bill connected to the box of guitars. And we could have at that point entered the bill into the system, the physical bill. We could have entered into our bill in zero, which would have increased the accounts payable. But instead of doing that, we just paid it at that point in time with basically a check type form, a money out form. As we did that, as we wrote basically a check type of form paying for the inventory, we assigned these couple items as like a billable type of expense, something that I wanna pull into the invoice. Now this is a tricky, this is where it gets a little bit messy because oftentimes when we think about that billable kind of functionality, we're not thinking about it with inventory oftentimes, but rather with other things like gas and stuff like that, that we wanna pull on over into the invoice. So because we're using inventory and items are related to inventories, we have to be careful when we now turn around and go to the sales side of things to pull that inventory item into our invoice. And now that we're gonna, we're gonna actually sell those guitars that we purchased for the customer. So to see this, let's hit the, let's go to the zero. Let's go to the tab to the right. I'm gonna right click on this tab and duplicate it again. And I would like to run another report for the billable items. So I'm gonna hit the uh, accounting dropdown and go into reports. And then we're gonna type in up top billable, billable expenses. So I'm gonna go into that report and we wanna see them for